Hello everyone, this is Dungeon Collect here with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series Thor Love and Thunder Gord of God Butcher. So let's go over to packaging, so, ooh, excuse me, we got the Marvel Legends logo here on the top, Thor Love and Thunder logo here in the bottom, Gore, here's the side art of Christian Bale as Gord of God Butcher. Here is the back with that same artwork, um, and if you guys want to pause and read that you can. Here is the Marvel Legends logo here in the corner. And for this wave, we are building Korg. And for this wave, we have the Armored Thor, the Golden Blue Armor, Jane Foster Thor, uh, Gorda God Butcher Valkyrie, King Valkyrie, uh, Ravager Thor, which we already did, uh, Star Lord, we also already did, and uh, Team Group, which we also did. And here's the other side art. Here's the top with the broken hammer emblem there, furnished on top. And then here is the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Gore out of the packaging here. So let's go over the accessories. So first we got Korg's right leg, which we'll go over once we build him. And then here we have his Necro Sword here with this like really rigid blade here, which is really cool. I think this is called the Necro Sword, I believe. I don't remember. So if you guys know what it's actually called, let me know in the comments. But I believe it is the Necro Sword. But you got this really nice like black, but really rigid blade here, which is really cool. I like a lot. You got this really cool hilt with these like extended hilt here with the circle around it. And then you got the brown handle with this like orb piece here, sphere. I don't know what you would call that shape, but yeah, it's blacked out. So really cool looking sword though. I like that. And then that's all we got for accessories. So let's get up close with Gore here. So here is Christian's, Christian Bale's head sculpt for Gore here, which looks pretty close to what Christian Bale looks like. Um, you got a lot of scarring and stuff around his face. You got like this purple, like tree, like decals on his head and neck. So you can kind of see that there. You got that really like gray looking palette there for his like entire body and stuff like that for the entire, um, figure actually. And you got like some scarring around the head here that goes all the way down through the neck. And then, you know, like, very, like, baggy eyes and, like, dark lips. Uh, and then you got, like, this cape piece here with that is actually textured. You got, like, some rips at the end of it. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I think that's supposed to be, like, a hood or something like that. I don't know what this is. Um, but, yeah, it's really textured, which is cool. And then you got his arms here, which is all, all scarred up all the way down through the hand. So, yeah. It's really textured in there. Pinless elbows, by the way. And then down to the hand, you got the fingers. And then near the tips of the fingers, you actually got, like, perked out uh, nails and stuff like that going on. And this is, like, a relaxed hand here. And it, uh, as you can see, the joints actually go up and down vertically, whereas this one's horizontally. And this is the sword-holding hand. And then you got like this robe piece here for him. And you got a little like waist tie here that is all tied up here in the back. It's a little more tan, but still in the gray area there. And as you get closer to the end of the robe skirt piece, you get like more dirt and stuff going on here and then rips along the edges here, which is really cool. I like that amount of detail, even through the back. Yeah, you can see like all that dirt and stuff, grime on it. And you got the bare foot. And then here are like the actual pants, if you want to see that, like tied up at the ankles, whited out, pinless knees also. So yeah, pretty cool. And then we'll go over the articulation. So he has a double ball jointed head, looks down that far, up that far, left and right, lot of hip pivoting there. Shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation there, bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows that go down very far. Uh, wrists hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation there. This one wants to go side to side, so up down that far, up that far, 360 rotation still. And you got a ball joint at the hip that goes down that far, backwards that far, side to side movement, twisting. Legs kick out, kick out actually with that skirt slip there. 
forward quite a bit, just a little bit with that skirt. Uh, backwards none. You got a thigh cut in there actually. You got double jointed knees. I'm just gonna kick it off to the sides to show you how articulated that is right there. And then you got like a shin cut inside the pants actually there. Ankles hinged down that far, up that far, and nice ankle pivot. So yeah, that is Gore to God Butcher Freya. I think he's a really cool figure. Very tall. Uh, you got some nice detailing around the ends of the skirt. Uh, I like the sword a lot. I like how rigid it is and the detailing on it, sculpt-wise. I like the figure, actually. I like the sculpting and the paint detail, especially around the head. I know a lot of people are but, uh, kind of mad about how, uh, how he looks right now, like not comic accurate. I know in the comics he basically has no nose. He has like the uh, like the weird hair piece. It's not hair, but it's like, I don't know how to describe it, but uh, it, this is not what he looks like in the comics. I know that, but he's not too bad. I think he looks pretty cool. Uh, they nailed Christian Bale's head sculpt on this figure, though, for sure. Um, detail and everything was pretty good. Articulation's pretty decent, especially with the skirt piece there. You were able to actually have him kick and everything still. Uh, not as far, but you're able to have him kick. Um, but yeah, I think it's a pretty cool figure. Um, I think, like, once we see him, I think we'll actually like the character because he's supposed to be, like, one of the very, like, vicious people that tries to kill all the gods and everything. So I, I would say go try to get him because I think at some point, I think everyone's going to end up liking him, hopefully. Like I said, we haven't seen him in the actual trailers or anything like that, so we don't know. But we'll see how that all goes. But, yeah, I think it's a really cool figure, like I said. So if you guys want to help support me on my other accounts like TikTok, TikTok Twitch, and Instagram, go ahead and check that out in the link tree in my description. I'll also do brief uh, reviews on these figures, three minutes long. Try to get to the point and everything. So if you guys want to check, me out, check that out and check those out, if you want to just to the point, go ahead and do that. But that's all I really got. So if, um, that's all I really got. So thanks for watching.